Welcome back to Full Course Online. In this video, we're going to install QEMU on Windows and set it up with a graphical interface using QTEMU. Follow along, and by the end, you'll have everything ready to run virtual machines. Open your browser and search for Download QEMU. Click on the official QEMU.org link. You'll see QEMU is available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Since we're using Windows, choose that option. The installation page provides all the guidelines. Here, we download the Windows binaries. Select the 64-bit version because our operating system is 64-bit. Click on this setup file to download it. Once the file is downloaded, open it and follow the simple installation process. When the setup finishes, return to the guideline page. Next, we need to install MSYS2. Download it from the link provided on the same page. After downloading, run the file, accept the defaults, and complete the installation. When the program finishes, the MSYS2 terminal window will appear. If you see that screen, it means the installation is successful. Keep it open, or minimize it if you like. Now, we need to install some required packages. Go back to the main guideline page and copy the given command. If your terminal is closed, open the C drive, locate the MSYS2 folder, and run the terminal from there. Paste the command inside and press Enter. The installation will begin, and you'll be asked to confirm. Type Y whenever prompted, and wait until the process completes. Once again, return to the guideline page and copy the second command. Open the terminal, paste it, and press Enter. This installation takes longer, so let it run. When asked, press Y to continue. After this process finishes, QEMU will be fully installed on your system. But working with command lines can be tricky, so let's install a graphical interface called QTEMU. Search for QTEMU and open the official GitHub page. Scroll down to the download section and get the latest version. After downloading, open the installer, accept the defaults, and finish the setup. Once installed, go to the Start menu, search for QTEMU, and launch the application. Before using it, we need to configure a few paths. First, select the QEMU Binaries folder. The default path will already be open, so just confirm by clicking Select Folder. Next, choose a location where you want to store your virtual machines. Here, I'm creating a new folder named VM and selecting it. That's it. QEMU with QT EMU GUI is now ready to use. In the next video, we'll add a virtual machine and run an operating system using QEMU. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to get updated. And let me know in the comments which operating system you'd like me to demonstrate first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.